The window system of eHandbook Navigator allows you to customize the user interface in such a way that you can work with the tool very efficiently on different screen sizes, such as your laptop with a small screen or at your desk where you have two external monitors. So how does that configuration work? When you explore ECU software documentation content in eHandbook, uh, screen size often is a uh, limitation. So when you want, for example, to fully focus now on reading the CEO software documentation for a specific function, you can simply get rid of the unnecessary tabs by switching to the so-called content perspective. This will get rid of the tabs to the left so that the content here in the main tab is simply maximized. There's further possibilities to get rid of the toolbar through the view menu by saying view hide toolbar. And there's even further possibilities to maximize to the full screen by saying view full screen mode. In this full screen mode, uh, with the toolbar removed, you can now fully focusing on reading the ECU software documentation content or on exploring such an interactive model. Getting the toolbar back is also easy through the view show toolbar menu and getting out of the full screen mode is possible through the shortcut or also through the respective menu entry. When working at your desk, you typically have two external monitors available. With eHandbook Navigator and the Windows system, you can actually make use of those two monitors very efficiently by dragging out individual tabs from the tool and putting them onto your second screen. Through this, you can, on the one hand, explore a model or read a specific ECU software documentation content and at the same time explore your ECU software documentation on the other screen. Getting the tab back into the tool is simple, pos simply possible by dragging the corresponding tab back into the tool.